What's going on world? This is Grandmaster Facts and this is another Party Nerds exclusive. Now, with the inclusion of the Eternals into the MCU, does that leave forth the ultimate story, the ultimate origin story of a young Thanos? And not only a young Thanos, but his father Alars, his brother Star Fox, his mother Suisan, and the ultimate, his grandfather, the cosmic entity known as Kronos. But first, if you could hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, we'll keep you up to date on any exclusive content by myself, Grandmaster Facts, and the party nerds. To understand this origin story, you gotta realize that this is going to predate the entire existence of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As a matter of fact, it's going to basically be the start of creation of life throughout the universe itself, where the Celestials brought forth the first two species of beings, both intelligent, but very very different within the universe that is the Eternals and the Deviants. Now where does this connection ha happen to lie within Thanos? Thanos grew up as an Eternal with his father Alars and his mother Suisan and his brother Star Fox also known as Eros. It's actually funny that these three were mysteriously omitted when they revealed the roster at San Diego Comic Con this summer but for anybody who has not looked into Thanos' origin story I suggest anybody reading Thanos Rising which depicts the fact of him from birth when Suisan and Alars had their first child Thanos. He was born with the deviant gene. That's why he was born all purple and totally different from the physical makeup of his mother and father. Also, upon first glance of seeing her son for the very first time and looking into his eyes, Suisan grabbed a knife and tried to kill Thanos right there at birth. Alar's overall love and affection for his first child are the only things that kept Thanos alive. But then they had another child, Eros, and an ultimate rivalry was born. But Thanos wasn't really concerned about impressing his parents where Eros was and ultimately started to isolate himself from his, from his family and started doing minuscule and manipulative and violent acts all by the wayside while Eros became a poster boy for the Eternals. Yeah, he was a resounding leader and a whole bunch of charisma, but it ultimately proved that there was a little bit of jealousy between him and Thanos. What people don't seem to know is that Thanos' grandfather is the cosmic entity Kronos. Now, Kronos had a botched experiment. What people don't seem to know is that Thanos' grandfather is the cosmic entity Kronos. Now, Kronos did have a physical form, but during a botched experiment, he was de-atomized and thrown forth into the universe, which was then collected and became the cosmic entity as he is today. But he, sen he sensed that Thanos had this ultimate will to have a violent portrayal amongst the universe. So much so that Kronos took the soul of a human being on Earth, placed it into Drax the Destroyer in his creation, and he was created to destroy Thanos once and for all. His literal drive is to destroy Thanos. But let us know what you guys think. Would the ultimate origin story of Thanos and his family growing up as an Eternal, would that make a better storyline than anything that Marvel's going to give to us when the Eternals drops? Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to us at the Party Nerds YouTube page. Hit us up on the Party Nerds Instagram and Facebook page. Hit me up, Grandmaster Facts, F-A-Q-S, on IG and Twitter. Party Nerds, go.